So you're sitting there thinking about the Security Plus from CompTIA, either because somebody told you it was a good idea, or you stumbled onto one of those lists with cybersecurity certifications that you should get. I'm sure the question that's burning in your mind right now is should you get the Security Plus this year? First, I wanna tell you a story about my experience with the CompTIA Security Plus and my cybersecurity career journey. We have to go all the way back to 2013 when I first began my journey. I was just like you, confused with all the information that's out there and feeling overwhelmed with having to make decisions that seemed like they would make or break my career. Just like you and many other people, I started learning about networks and some basic security stuff and feeling great. I was in an information insurance and cybersecurity master's degree program at that time. Then with no cybersecurity work experience and only a few months of my program under my belt, I landed an internship with a company called Northrop Grumman. Now Northrop Grumman is a major defense contractor for the military here in the United States. So obviously I was very excited, but if you aren't familiar with that industry, there's something called the DOD 8570 that mandates certain certifications to hold specific jobs. Most of the time, people end up getting the security plus to fulfill that requirement. When I got into the internship, which was a three month internship, I was told that I had to get the Security Plus if I wanted any kind of real work experience on the networks. That meant I had basically like a month to actually get certified if I wanted any kind of real experience. I immediately started searching on the internet, I'm sure much like what you're doing right now, to find any kind of resources that people recommended. Unlike now, there was relatively few video course options with CBT Nuggets and Professor Messer being the two most common. The rest of the resources were study guide books. One of the major issues with the process was the timeline because I really had to be effective in how I used my time studying, but I was also still taking summer classes for my master's degree during that time. That didn't leave a whole bunch of time to do anything else. Every morning and evening, I would listen to audio files for the Security Plus and watch videos to prepare, but I also was spending time writing papers for my master's program. Honestly, it was pretty stressful because my internship was also 40 hours per week and I couldn't study at my internship. When I was about halfway through the study guide book, I started to take some practice exams. Like anybody, the first few times weren't good and that was definitely frustrating, but I kept my eyes on the prize because I knew it was gonna pay off. I finally reached a point where I was like, whatever, and I was just ready to take the exam and take a chance. So I scheduled the exam for the end of June, 2013. Keep in mind, this was my first IT or cybersecurity certification, so my stress level was at an all-time high. When the exam day came, I was so nervous, but I went in that morning, did all the registration stuff, and began my exam. My heart was racing throughout that whole exam. I should also mention that this was the first version where CompTIA had performance-based questions, and it was unclear if they actually counted towards your score, and I wasn't really prepared for that. Anyways, I skipped those questions to come back to them later. Eventually, I got to the end of the exam and that point where I'm sure everybody's like, okay, here we go, moment of truth. And my heart was pounding so much with anticipation. And finally, the awesome news popped up on the screen, a passing score. I took the rest of the day off to enjoy the victory and the thought of actually getting real work experience in cybersecurity. That Monday, I went into my internship and I told them that I passed the Security Plus. I was told that's great, but the learning's just begun. Honestly, I was kind of shocked by this response. But my boss explained the certifications are great, but they set the foundation of knowledge and then you'll continue learning how to apply that knowledge over time. That actual work experience that I got through my internship set the tone for my career going forward and directly contributed to getting my first full-time job before I graduated with my master's degree. Now I told you this story because I want you to keep things in perspective. No certification will teach you everything that you need to know and that learning is the most important thing in this career field not necessarily a specific credential. Sometimes specific credentials are important, and in my case, it was contractually required, but that's not always the case. That also means that sometimes you just have to do things that you don't wanna do. And guess what? Sometimes that happens in life, but you have to pay attention to what employers are asking for to give you the most opportunities. Instead of trying to rebel against the system, try to find ways to make the system work for you. Trust me, it's a lot easier that way. Even though my experience happened back in 2013, the strategy is still the same, and especially at the entry level, things aren't drastically changing from year to year. Will they change in the future? Maybe, but I haven't seen it happen in a decade or so, so I'm not gonna count on it. Question of the day, are you gonna go for the Security Plus? If you are, what's your strategy gonna be? If you're not, why not? Let me know down in the comment section below. Remember, use the system to your advantage and find ways to get the most benefit. Things will never be perfect, but if you can be strategic in your choices, then you'll have way better results. If you just want a yes or no answer after hearing all this information, then yes, I would absolutely get the Security Plus. 
Don't stop there though. Check out my video on the best cybersecurity certifications. As always, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Check out the description for more resources related to this video, and I'll see you next time.